Hey everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. My name is Mike and today we're in Reunion, Florida. Reunion is an amazing community close to the area attractions here in the Orlando area. It has 13 pools, including one with a lazy river, three championship golf courses, tennis courts, plenty of restaurants, also a golf and tennis academy. We're gonna show you this home behind us. It's listed by Alice. So Alice, tell us a little bit about yourself and also this home. Thank you, Mike. My name is Alice Ann Jackson. I'm with Corcoran Premier Realty. So welcome to Reunion. This beautiful home behind me is called the Mansion at Reunion and it's 11,248 square feet. We have 12 bedrooms, 12 full bathrooms and three half baths. It's actually on a double lot and it's got a beautiful westerly aspect, which is ideal for the sun. And it overlooks the 14th hole of the Jack Nicholas golf course. So great. So this home also has some amazing amenities, including a movie theater, a Canadian bowling alley, and also a spa. Here in Reunion, they have villas starting in the $300,000 range, townhouses, and also multi-million dollar homes like the one behind us. If you're interested in getting information about Reunion and purchasing a home here or selling a home, make sure you give us a call. I'll get you in touch with Alice, who is a wonderful partner of mine here in Reunion, and she will take great care of you. So let's talk a little bit about the exterior of this home. So the first thing that you probably notice is the semicircle driveway that is paved that goes around the whole home, and of course, this tropical landscaping in between the semicircle driveway. So follow me this direction. We're gonna go ahead and go past the driveway and take you up on the home. Now, the home itself, the exterior of the home is done really nice. I like the dark black and white, the how they contrast, and all the trim of all the windows. And of course, there are large windows for really nice natural light inside the house. Also, it has a black trim around it. We have a two-car garage over on our right, a single-car garage over on our left. Now, those are currently being used for other activities, for amenity centers. Over there is the Canadian bowling, and over here is the sauna. So we'll show you that in a little bit. And of course, in front of us, we have really, really tall entryway with the columns going on either side. And we go up these steps that are paved or tile I should say up one two three four five steps to the front entry the front entry has this beautiful arched door doorway all in nice wood couple carriage lights on either side so let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home all right so welcome into this home let me go ahead and close the door behind me the first thing I noticed as I walk into this home would have to be the floors. Beautiful, large porcelain tiles that go throughout the first floor of this home. Now behind me, you'll get a good view of that door. Has these amazing intricate designs. Of course, we have the arch doorway. That arch doorway matches the arches on either side with a decorative tile going all the way up. Absolutely beautiful. And as I look up, we have really elevated ceilings with a modern light fixture hanging down as well. So let me go ahead. We have two steps coming down into the family room. So as I walk down into the family room and show you this. Um, Haley, who is doing the camera work today, and also my daughter, she is now by the front entry, so you'll get to see what you see when you come inside, which is the family room, and also the sliding glass doors going out to one of the larger pools here in Reunion, and of course, the golf course behind me. Now, the family room itself has this beautiful accent wall with the woodworking. We have the tile and hexagon shapes, and of course, the wood mantle going across the fireplace. As I look up, we have a double tray ceiling with three rounds of crown molding and also recessed lights, and of course, this beautiful chandelier coming down from the center. So let me go ahead and walk over past the sliding glass door over into the sitting area. So the sitting area is currently sit up, set up for four people to sit around, have a nice conversation, play a little bit of board games. So it's really nice. And of course, as I look up, we do have that beautiful ceiling as well with the multiple levels of trays and also crown moldings. So let's go ahead and take a tour of the kitchen, which will be our next stop. So as I walk over through this very spacious open area, we come up to the kitchen. The kitchen center island is absolutely huge. Beautiful countertops, We've got four seating areas, but this is not just the only sitting areas. We have another eight sitting areas over by the bar, and we have another bar on the other side which has four. Above us, we do have a tray ceiling with the same sort of crown molding and the very modern light fixture hanging down over the center island. So let's take you on the tour of the kitchen. So the first, first stop would be the pantry. It is a walk-in pantry. As I come in here, you have plenty of space to pull your stuff. One thing that you'll notice about this specific house in Reunion is whether you wanna use it as a vacation rental or a permanent secondary home or permanent home, you have the space, you have the pantry space and closet space throughout. We have this large refrigerator, double-sided refrigerator, refrigerator, freezer. You have plenty of space there for anything that you may need. And as we continue through, we have a double oven. Not only do we have a double oven, we have a double microwave as well. We have the cabinets in white going all the way around, which contrasts really well with the dark black countertops and also black tile behind the backsplash. So as we continue to go this direction, we see that we have a five burner gas stovetop 
the air vent, which is surrounded by this beautiful woodwork and mirror fixture above us. And on the other side, we do have the rest of the center island and of course the sink area as well. But we have two sink areas also, as well as two dishwashers. So as we continue to go around, we see the two dishwashers, the secondary sink, we have the bar area that sits eight people. But if that's not enough, you currently have 12 people here that you can sit. We have the dining area. So let's go ahead over into the dining room and show you that area as well. So it's currently set up for 12 people to sit around the dining room as well. We have extra chairs on the side, beautiful light fixtures over the dining room, and of course the tray ceiling with the crown moldings. We have two crown moldings going around with the recessed lights. We have a door, the door goes out to the summer kitchen. So whether you want a barbecue or if you want to work in your regular kitchen, the dining room set right in the in between. And of course, this is Florida. So if you wanted to eat outside, we have plenty of seating, actually more seating outside than we have inside. We'll show you all the outside living area later on in the video. So let's go ahead and take a tour of the rest of the first floor. As I come here, this is interesting, this little area, if you didn't wanna go out in the Florida heat and want to just lounge around in the air condition, we have a couple little areas here where you can just lounge around and watch someone cook your meal if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and go down this hallway. We'll come to one of the first bedrooms. But before I go do that, I wanna talk about these columns as well. These are beautiful columns made out in that same porcelain. We even have the same decorative tile work in the inserts as well. So really nice. There's three of them going throughout the family room and sitting area. Right next to that, we have our bar. Our bar can sit another four people, beautiful black countertops. And of course we have a beverage refrigerator and a wine refrigerator and plenty of storage and including a secondary sink. And check out this tile with the triangles. Really, really gorgeous tile work there as well. Above us, we have this architectural ceiling that's also just stands out. It's just beautiful, beautiful architectural throughout this home. So let's go ahead and go down this hall. We'll come to our first bedroom of the 12. You'll notice a lot of the bedrooms are named after places that you probably wanna visit around the world. This one is the Dubai bedroom. It is a special bedroom. It is a handicapped accessible bedroom. So that's really neat. So let's come in here and talk about that. So if we walk in, we see that we have gold and royal blues that gives you that Dubai feeling, including that wallpaper going along the outer edge and of course crown molding around. This door is what makes it handicapped accessible. It has a pathway that goes to the front of the house. So if you had a wheelchair, you'll be able to use the wheelchair right up here. You wouldn't have to worry about those steps in the front of the house. And of course the bathroom to my right also is all handicapped accessible. We have our sink area, toilet, and of course the shower as well. Um, behind here is a linen closet or towel closet but we do have a full walk-in closet also, which is really nice about this specific one because typically in these vacation rentals, the closets are really small. All the closets in this one are really nice size closets. So we go ahead and close that. Our next stop will be one of the first of many amenities in this home. So as I go left, we go into our spa. We go from the porcelain tile to this really beautiful gray hexagon tile. We step down a few steps into the spa so the spa's got a couple of cool features. We have a sauna to our right. We have a steam shower to our left. In between, we have a couple of lounge chairs. And then over to my left, it's gonna be state-of-the-art spa tables. Absolutely comfortable spa tables here. And then look at this, we have this cool accent wall with a mirror right in the between and this pebble texture going up and then woodwork on either side that goes all the way up on the wall as well. And then of course, above me, this beautiful light fixture. It'll be a great place to come and relax and enjoy your time off and enjoy the vacation that you're having here in Central Florida. So let's go ahead and go back up these steps, take a quick stop at one of the laundry rooms, which will be over to the left just to show you that you have plenty of space to do your laundry while you're on vacation as well. We have two washers, two dryers, a sink area, an area to fold, everything you need for your laundry. So let's go ahead and go on the other side where we have multiple bedrooms, show you that. Now, if you are a listing agent watching this video and have a luxury listing, or if you are a owner of a luxury home that you're trying to sell, if you would like your home featured on our channel, make sure you let us know. We're passing the stairs to go up to the second floor. We'll show you that in more detail in just a little bit as we come through this area. Before we go down the hallway, I wanna talk about another really neat feature, which has to be this wall going along the, the walkway, the hallway. So as I look up, of course, we have a three-dimensional tile, this beautiful artwork popping out with LED lights behind it, going all the way down the hallway, it just makes it pop, it just takes the home to another level. So let's go ahead and go right. This is one of the few powder rooms we have in the home. Of course, we have a sink, toilet, 
beautiful wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. And of course, a mirror with a couple light fixtures on either side. Now, let's see, we're going to Milan. So let's go into Milan. Milan is one of two larger bedrooms in the home. So as we come into this bedroom, the first thing we have is we have a drink station with a refrigerator, sink, so everything you need. If you wanna make a coffee maker here, have some alcoholic beverages, whatever you want, you can have in that specific area. And of course we have the sliding glass door that goes out to the outdoor living area and the pool and the amazing view of the golf course. We have our own fireplace with our mantle, beautiful woodworking going all the way up to the ceiling. The ceiling's got the crown molding going around, and of course the tray ceiling with the recessed LED lights, a light fixture coming down, and then the king size bed, a couple end tables on either side, and the beautiful wallpaper going all the way through with an arched doorway going into the bathroom. So let's go ahead and go into the bathroom. We have our water closet on our left. On our right is a walk-in closet, and check out this closet. So as I come into this closet, we have plenty of mirrors, plenty of storage. We have a makeup area with these cool lights coming down. So everything you need in this closet. So next stop, bathroom. So to our right, we go into the bathroom. Of course, we have the porcelain tile going throughout. We have a sink mirror. Uh, we have our garden tub. Our garden tub is elevated on this black tile. We have the mirror with the privacy glass on it and this beautiful chandelier coming down over the tub. We have our second sink area, and as we continue to go around, we also have the shower. The shower's got pebble floors, and of course, tile going all the way up with a black tile. You'll notice a lot of the showers in this home are very similar as far as how they're designed. So let's go ahead and go back out and show you the rest of the things that are down this hallway. So follow me this way, and let's go ahead and take our next stop, which would be London. So go right. So we go from the porcelain tile to this beautiful flooring in the London bedroom. London's got the king size bed, of course, you know, the end tables on either side. Definitely has that London feel as far as the furniture in here. Uh, we have the red telephone booth on the far wall, and of course, some decorative uh, pictures of London above us as well with the wallpaper. A little closet here. This is one of the smaller closets, but it's typically the size of most closets in most bedrooms. And as we can go over to our left, we go into the bathroom. The bathroom goes back into the porcelain tile. Of course, we have our sink area, toilet, and then of course the shower. The shower's got that same pebble we saw in the other bedroom, the frameless shower, and of course the same tile work is all, all the way up to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and go down. Now we're gonna go past Paris. We'll catch Paris on the way back into the home and go to Bangkok. This is just the air handler through this door. Uh, Bangkok is really cool as well. We have the same flooring that we had, a couple beds here, beautiful artwork that makes you feel like you're in Bangkok. And then of course the wallpaper and a quick light fixture above us, another walk-in closet. So you have plenty of space here for your clothes. And then we also have our own bathroom right down this way to our right. We go back to that porcelain tile. Um, and of course this one does have a large counter area, uh, LED lights underneath the counter, of course our toilet and a very similar uh, shower on the other end that we saw in the other uh, bathrooms as well. So now is one of my favorite areas, which is the second amenity in this house, the Canadian bowling alley. So it's my favorite for a different thing. It's probably be one of the more fun rooms to be in. And I love the artwork. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Me and Haley have watched Star Wars together a few times and we do like it and the artwork all the way around on the walls with the different characters. And of course, even the mini split they have on the far end is put into the artwork as well. I think that's amazing. And of course, we have the Canadian bowling alley here with the Canadian bowling balls that you can throw down and hit those pins down there. So a pretty cool area. Nice thing if you're on vacation to hang out here. We even have Darth Vader watching you ball as well. So let's go ahead and go back up. And our next stop would be Paris, just over here to the right. Now, of course, this is a vacation rental right now. So when you're purchasing it, you purchase it as is with all the furniture. And this one's got custom curtains as well. So this is all done custom. You don't just buy this at the store. And then we have our king size bed, the beautiful wallpaper and chandelier gets you that feel that you're in Paris. We also have another walk-in closet. So you have plenty of space. You're gonna stock with some towels, but plenty of space where you're on vacation to put all your clothes. And then we also have the uh, bathroom. So the bathroom, also the porcelain tile, sink, toilet. This one does have some tile work as well, but the exact same tile that we see in the bathroom of the other ones. So let's go ahead 
and go down the hallway. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you like looking at luxury homes, if you like looking at architectural, if you like looking at ideas, or if you're thinking about buying a house, uh, make sure you check out our channel and subscribe and look at all of our other videos. We have another home in Reunion that is on our channel too. We'll link it below as well. Um, that was the casino house. So that'll be another one to check out as well. So let's go ahead and go up these stairs and show you the second floor. All right, so here we are on the second floor. Before I take you on a tour of the second floor, I'll tell you a little bit about the stairs. We have these beautiful wood rails, of course, metal spindles going down. The staircase itself has a chandelier come down with a beautiful modern light fixture as well. So as I step up, we see we have these engineered hardwood floors throughout the second floor. If I go to my left, what you'll see here is also a railing going around it, like a semicircle area. Right below me is the front entry and we get a good view of that modern light fixture above the entry. So let's talk about what we're welcomed with as soon as we come into the second floor, which is a whole relaxation area, gaming area. So you have a sitting area where you can watch TV, beautiful wallpaper, and we'll see the same hexagon wallpaper going throughout. I really like, I've never seen it before. We've actually noticed Lamborghini printed on there. So maybe it's made by Lamborghini, we're not too sure, but it goes throughout the whole area and we think it's an amazing wallpaper. In between the wood going throughout, we have the porcelain tile also throughout this main little living area. So let's go ahead, past the sliding glass door that goes to a wraparound patio that's upstairs. And the next little section is gonna be a poker table. So if you wanted to play some poker, you have that availability. Or if you wanted to play the new types of electronic gaming, we have all that available. Or hey, if you wanted to play pool or billiards, we have that also. So everything here for entertainment, but there's a lot more to do as far as entertainment in this house. So right next to this, we do see we have a beverage refrigerator, drink station, sink, plenty of cabinets for any sort of storage that you would have. So you can really entertain up here. And talking about entertainment, let's talk about one of the other amenities. We have two different amenities right here in this corner. We have a movie theater and an arcade. Let's go into arcade first and show you that. So we move from that engineer hardware flooring to this really nice plush red carpet. So this room is themed all about Disney. So on the walls, we see we have Donald Duck playing the Nintendo 64. We have Mickey Mouse. We have Goofy playing basketball. And of course we have arcade games, basketball, game, even the air hockey table, everything you need to sort of entertain, whether you're a kid or an adult, probably have a lot of fun in this room. Right next to that, if you want a little bit something a little bit more relaxing, we have that available to you. We come through, we get into this really fun carpet with all these cool designs in it, into the movie theater and as a large movie theater. It's on three levels. So you're wherever you're sitting, you get a good view of the screen. It's a beautiful, beautiful design with the dark paint, dark greens, blacks, and also the gold trim going all the way around. If I look up on the ceiling, we also have three trays with recessed lights and also that green and black and gold color up there as well. So just imagine watching The Wizard of Oz or you know, Star Wars or drawers, drawers up here as well. You have some pretty good time uh, here on vacation having, watching a really cool movie. So let's go ahead and show you one of my favorite bedrooms of all time. It's uh, quite interesting because it's fun. So it's, especially if you're a kid, it probably wouldn't be something that I'd sleep in, but I think it's one of the most fun bedrooms. Well, before we get to the bedrooms, we go and show you another half bathroom. So as we come into this half bathroom, we see we have our sink and our toilet and that same sort of wallpaper, the hexagon shapes that we saw in all the different colors in this bathroom as well. All right, so let's go ahead and show you my favorite area of this home, which has to be through this door. So follow me this way. We go into the cars themed bedroom. So not only do we have themed beds, but we have the wall It's painted with cactus and desert themes. We have the tin roof going over. It's extremely themed as far as what we have. We have the Porsche, we have the GTO, we have our Jaguar, we have our Mustang, all with bunk beds the metal roof over as well, our Texaco sign as we continue to go through where the stairs going up to the second level of the bunk beds. Then right in front of me, we have the sink and the gloss red, black countertops, and of course the mirror, tin roof going across. Now on either side, we have a closet, and then we have the bathroom, which is the toilet and also a tub and shower area. So as we continue to come back out of here, we'll see that we the theme continues to go all the way around. We have the cactuses. We even have a bookshelf right here where you can put all your books. If you know Haley, oh, that opens up as well. So what we have here, 
we have a play area and it's Harry Potter themed with the cool wall walls as well being painted. We have the castle with a rock climbing. So you rock climb up on top of the castle, a rope ladder coming down into a foam pit. And we even have a slide coming out as well. So wouldn't that be neat if you have kids, this will have them busy for a lot of time checking out this room, sleeping on the cars, going into the Harry Potter room as well. So let's go ahead and go across the hallway and check out what we have here. This is the karaoke room, also with four bunk beds. We have stairs in the middle, cool music notes going all the way across. So, and then of course we even have some painting of people at a concert. Um, over on this side, let's go ahead and show you this side first. We have a bathroom, the bathroom with gloss pink cabinets and the tile here is a little bit different than the tile we saw downstairs with the toilet, also a tub and shower. Right next to that, we also have a walk-in closet, so plenty of space. And then if you wanted to do karaoke, we're all set up here with our karaoke machine, TV. So you're all set. We even have it painted on here or someone do it. Okay. Oh. This opens up too into the Harry Potter room. So this goes all the way through into the cars room. So this will be a really neat area wing of the house for the kids to hang out in. So let's go ahead and go back out and take you onto the other side of the home. As I come this way, I do wanna say that if you are looking, if you want more information on this specific house, whether you wanna rent it or if you wanted to purchase it, make sure you contact us. My phone number directly is 407-487-3030. You can call or text anytime. And my email will be down in the description as well. And we can send you all the details on this specific home. So as we come through another arch hallway, we come down here and then let me talk about this. So the hallway itself, we have a very similar design that we did downstairs, except for the light white colors. We have dark color tile also in that three dimensional, the artwork, artwork that pops off the wall with the LED lights behind it as well. So as we come down the hallway, we're gonna pass a couple bedrooms. We have Istanbul and New York. We'll show you those in just a second, but we're gonna go down this hallway first. We have a owner's closet, which is locked. So if you're an owner, you can keep your personal stuff there. And our first stop would be Rio. So let's go check out Rio. So as I go into Rio, we have the beautiful floors and everything here is themed. You can see with the yellows and the greens, which is the Rio sort of theme. Over on our left, we have a king size bed, a couple end tables, the wallpaper, which is in a green, textured snakeskin type wallpaper. If I go over to this direction, we see we have a walk-in closet. So you have plenty of space as well. And this one does have a patio on it. It's the one bedroom on the front of the house that has a patio. So if you're here and wanted to go outside, enjoy the Florida weather, have a little cup of coffee, you can have that as well. Looking here and looking over all the houses in the front, they're building a brand new house also right in front of us as well. That's gonna be beautiful once they're done. So let's go ahead and close this up and show you the bathroom here. So over to the left, bathroom again, very similar bathroom to what we start downstairs. Same sort of cabinets and shower, a little different on the floor, but everything else here about the same as the other bathrooms. So let's go ahead. Next stop would be Vegas. I've been to Vegas. I like Vegas It's a great place to visit. Not as good as Florida. Oh, Florida is the best place. So as we come in here, we have the floors, couple beds, of course the wallpaper all the way along the wall. We have our aces all the way through as decor, beautiful light fixture above me. And as we continue to go through, we have also the walk-in closet. And then right next door to the walk-in closet, another bathroom, a little bit bigger countertop here. And this one does have a full walk-in shower with the pebble floor. So let's go ahead and go back down the hallway and show you what we have on the other side. So let's go to Egypt it will be our next stop. We're just traveling the whole world in one video. This is awesome. So we come into Egypt, of course, beautiful floors, the wallpaper with the pharaohs coming out of the wall as well. Beautiful light fixture above us. And of course the custom curtains in front of us as well. And then to the left, we do have a bathroom also with a larger countertop and shower, walk-in shower as well. This one also has a walk-in closet right next to us also, uh, which would be right here. So this is a pretty large walk-in closet, one of the larger ones that we've seen. So let's go ahead and go back down here. Let's see what we have next. We have our second laundry area. So this one does have two washers and two dryers. Of course, it's not as spacious as the other one, but it'll get your laundry done. 
And we have now Istanbul and New York, two places that I do love. I've been to Istanbul, I did enjoy it there. So let's go ahead and go in there and check out Istanbul. The first thing that stands out as soon as I come in this room is the beautiful Turkish lamp above us. Of course, the wallpaper bed in front of us with the same sort of Turkish lamps on either of the end tables. As I come this direction, we see that we have also the bathroom, very similar to all the other bathrooms we've been into with the sink and the walk-in shower. And then we also have the walk-in closet. This one does have a access to the patio area as well. So if you want to get out to the back patio, you can do that from Istanbul. But New York is the, one of the two big bedrooms. We come in here. This one does have carpeted on the floors. We have our drink station with our beverage refrigerator and sink. Of course, we have the beautiful tile working across. Next stop would be our sliding glass door that goes out to the walk around patio, balcony area that we'll show you in just a second. And then the fireplace. Fireplace has this tile working all the way around crown molding and then as I look up to the ceiling we have the tray ceiling with crown molding and a recessed light. On the far side we do have an accent wall that has the beautiful trim work and the very nice silver wallpaper behind it. As I come through this arched hallway we come back into porcelain tile. Over to my right is going to be another one of the two larger closets in this house. So as I walk in here we see that we have our makeup area and plenty of space more space than you need even for a permanent residency, but for a vacation rental, it's got more space than anyone would ever need. So as we come through and go right, we see that we have the exact same layout that we had downstairs with our water closet to the left, one sink, our tub that's elevated off the ground with a beautiful black tile, chandelier above us, privacy window, secondary sink, and also shower. So let's go ahead and go out to the balcony and show you what we have out there. So follow me this direction and we'll go right out through this sliding glass door. All right, so here we are out in the patio, the balcony area upstairs. Of course, we have the beautiful tile work going all the way throughout. Before we go that direction, let's go ahead and go left. We have these hanging chairs throughout the balcony and we come to a sitting area. The sitting area is currently set up for people to sit around. We have a fire pit right in the middle. So having a fire pit on the balcony is something that you don't typically see. That's pretty cool. We have a gated area with spiral staircases all on the far side that goes down to the pool level and also the exercise room that we'll show you once we are downstairs. So let's go ahead and take a tour all the way around the balcony as we come up we pass the New York bedroom these French doors go into the Istanbul bedroom as we continue we have sliding glass doors these sliding glass doors go into the loft area with that seating area and the poker table and the billiards area as we continue around we have another seating area and then we even have a foosball table outside so if you want to play foosball you have the billiards inside you have every, everything that you want to do with entertainment you have at this specific home but of course what's really nice is the view as i look over this railing i see the golf course the sand trap and then of course the pool which is one of the larger pools that we've seen it's got an oversized jacuzzi you can fit a lot of people in jacuzzi with a beautiful tile work all the way around it and of course the waterfall coming off and then the pool itself is very long easily you can do laps back and forth plenty of seating areas along the fence the fence has the tropical landscaping of a couple palm trees popping out as we continue all the way down to the end of the pool we have a stairs coming into the pool and a tanning shelf with a couple lounge chairs Let's show you the rest of the outdoor living. So of course we have the beautiful tile that goes throughout the outdoor living area, but let's show you what we have over here to our left. This is the outdoor kitchen eating area. And as you can see, you can fit like about 20 or more people in this area. So you can feed a lot of people here. We have screen in areas. So everything that's covered, you have retractable screens that you can come in if you did want to put those screens down. But of course on a day like today, having them open is perfect. We come over to the summer kitchen. The summer kitchen has a bar area with seating for six. And of course these beautiful countertops as we come here, we see we have a fully stocked area with a refrigerator, ice maker, barbecue, air vent, and also sink with this black backsplash on the back. And of course, an air vent above us. We have the door going out to the kitchen. And as we come this direction, if this is not enough area to sit and eat, if you have more people, you can also have them sitting in the dining room where you have the indoor and the outdoor living come together. So let's go ahead and go across the pathway here and take you onto the other side. This is a large house, as you can see. As we walk over, we're gonna pass the family room that we saw as soon as we came in, and of course the pool to our right. Now, if you needed a bathroom out here, we have that available as well with the third half bath is right through this door. So as I open up this door, you'll see that you have a convenient 
toilet and sink on the outdoor area as well. So I'm go ahead and shut that. Right next door, we have the sliding glass door that goes to the downstairs, the larger bedroom downstairs. Right next to that, we have the outdoor living room. So we have a sitting area, fireplace, and also TV. Above us, if you notice, we do have that beautiful woodworking that we saw throughout the covered area, but this one also has a tray ceiling. So follow me this direction. We have one more thing to show you. Another amenity of this house is over to the left. As we pass this spot, it's a huge spot. You can fit like 20 people in there easily. So we come through and this area has a spiral staircase that goes up to the upstairs balcony that we saw by the fire pit and another door that goes to the gym. So let me go ahead and open that and show you what we have. As we walk in, we have a gym room. This has everything you need. It has the elliptical weight machine, treadmill, and also bicycle, a couple TVs here. So if you needed to do some exercise while you're on vacation, we have you covered here as well. So that is the end of the tour. As I come back in this direction, we look out and see people playing golf behind us and the beautiful view we have here at Reunion. If you're interested in more information on this home or anything in Reunion or Florida in general, make sure you give us a call. Until next week, talk to you later. Bye-bye.